everybody, it's Tanya back again from the Quilters Market. We are working on our virtual mystery quilt number two. We are working on clue number seven and clue number eight today. So first for clue number seven, we are going to need to grab our bags from clue number three and clue number six. Okay, let's get started. So you're going to take four patches from clue number three. So this is your four patch from clue number three. And you're going to take four of your corner units from clue number six. This is your corner unit from clue number six. Okay, and then we're gonna take one dark square that is four and a half inches. This is going to be our four and a half inch dark square. We're gonna set them out so that you see how our block is going to look. So we're gonna do a four patch, a folded corner square unit, and then a four patch. And then we're gonna do a folded corner square unit, a corner square, from the dark, and then a folded corner square unit. And then finally, we're going to do a four patch, a folded square unit, and a four patch. And that's how we make this block. So very important, when we press the seams in each row for this particular block, we are going to press the seams in each row away from the folded corner units. So in this, we're going to press the seams in. On these, we're gonna press the seams out. Press the long seam between the rows away from the center, making six of these blocks total. You're going to make six total and label that block number one. So for clue number eight, we are going to use our bags from four and clue number five. So go ahead and grab those bags. Making the block using the four patch units from clue number four. These are our four patch units. So it's your light fabric and your dark fabric. You're going to have two of those. Then you're going to take your half square triangle units Press the seams in each row away from the triangles. Press the final seam either way. Make 24 of these blocks and label them block number two. That's clue number eight. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time for finishing our quilt.